Hi, this is Brian Smith. Today is my fifth video in my daily Linux series. Today we're going to talk all about how to create an ext4 file system on LVM on Linux. And we're going to start basically with an empty disk and we're going to go through steps to partition the disk with fdisk, run part probe, do a pv create, uh, vg create, lv create, <clears throat> make the uh, mount point, um, make the file ext4 file system, add it to Etsy uh, FS tab, and then mount it. And then as a bonus, we'll also cover how to expand that file system on the fly and then shrink it um, as well. So without further ado, let's hop on the live system and we're gonna go through all these steps and we'll show you how to do it step by step. All right, so here we go. The first step we are going to do is an F disk minus L. This will show us all the uh, disk on the system. The one that we're going to use is dev sdb, and we can see down here that it's empty, which is what we want. So we're going to do an fdisk slash dev slash sdb. Okay, we're going to, you can do an m here for help to see the commands. We're going to do a p to show the partition table. It's currently empty. We're going to do an n to create a new partition. We're going to do a par primary partition, so we'll hit p. We're going to do uh, partition number one. Um, for the first sector, we're going to just go in the default, which will be the beginning of the disk. The last sector will press enter, which will default to use the entire disk. Okay, and then we are going to hit um, T to change the type of that partition. And you can hit L here to see a list. We're going to go with 8E, which is Linux LVM. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and do a P to show the partition table. And we can see our dev SDB1 here with the Linux LVM partition type. And we're going to hit W to write that. All right, now we're going to run part probe. This will make the uh, device visible to the kernel. And we are going to do a PV create on slash dev slash sdb1, which is the partition that we just created there. Okay, that creates the physical volume in LVM. Next, we're going to do a VG create, and then we'll call this volume group my VG and then we'll give it to the path to the physical volume we just created, slash dev slash sdb1. Okay, we now have a volume group. Next step, we're going to create a logical volume. That'll be an lv create. We'll do a minus l, and we'll specify the size. In this example, we're going to say 512 megabytes. We'll do minus n, and then give it a name. We'll call it my lv, and then we tell it what volume group we're creating this on, which will be my vg. That's the volume group we just created here. All right, we'll press enter. And we're getting this because I was testing this before, and it's detecting that there was already an EXT file system on there, so that's okay. We'll go ahead and say yes. Normally you won't see that. All right, so it created the logical volume. And next, we're going to create a, a uh, mount point for where we're going to mount this file system. So we're going to do MKDR. We're going to call this app1. That'll be our mount point. Next, we're going to actually create the ext4 file system. We'll do an mkfs.ext4, then do slash dev slash mapper, and then myvg dash mylv. So it's the volume group dash the logical volume. All right, we'll press enter. That just created the file system there. Next, we'll add it to the Etsy FS tab. This is what will make it um, automatically mount at boot. And the entry we'll add here is slash dev slash mapper. And then we'll do my VG, that's a volume group, dash my LV, which is the logical volume. Hit a tab. We'll do the mountain point, which is app one. Um, file system type, ext4, defaults. And then we'll do a one, that's for the uh, file system dump. And then the two, that's the order that it does the FS check in. So, all right. That's good to go. So now it'll automatically mount it and boot. Let's go ahead and do a mount on slash app one. That'll read the, et the etcfs tab as well to see what device it is and go ahead and mount it. All right, that was successful. Let's do a df minus m on app one. And there we go. File system is created and mounted. Now let's also cover real quick how to extend a volume group, make, you know, basically make the file, or I'm sorry, not a volume group, extend a file system to make it bigger. So We'll do an LV extend, do a minus L, and then we want to add, in this example, 
256 meg. And so what we do is we say plus, that means add to what's there, 256 M for megabytes. And then we'll do a minus R that says not only extend the logical line, but also resize the file system. And then we'll do a slash dev mapper my VG minus my LV. All right. And you can see it successfully re uh, resized it. We'll do DF minus M on app one. You can see added, it was 488 before, now it's 740. It added the 256 megabytes. And then if you want to reduce it, um, it's a similar command. We'll do an LV reduce dash L 512. Let's, uh, but let, let, this time let's do a minus 512M. That'll, that'll basically subtract 512 meg from the current file system, since we have the minus in front of there. And then we'll do with minus R. This will resize the file system. This is very important. You have to be careful when you do this. You want to make sure <clears throat> things are done in the right order. If you do the LV reduce with a minus R, it'll do it all for you. It'll, it'll reduce the logical volume and the file system at the same time. So that's the easiest way to do it. And then we'll do the dev mapper myvg minus myLV. All right. And it's going to tell us it cannot do this online. It has to unmount it. So we'll go ahead and say yes. And it successfully resize it. If we do a DF minus M on app one, you can see it's shrunk down now, um, 512 meg. Shrinking the file systems, I mean, it works, but it makes me a little nervous. So I would recommend backing up your data um, before you shrink any file systems, um, just, just in case. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope you guys all have a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.